Hello and welcome to this learning video. We are taking examples on Fourier transform. So in the earlier classes we have seen the variety of problems on this and as you all want that more examples can be taken on this uh, particular topic. So again we are continuing with this uh, same topic but another problem okay. So let us see what this problem says. So this problem says find the Fourier transform of the function f of x is equal to this and then the second part we'll see it later on okay. Now we have already seen problem of the type like this find the Fourier transform of this. So what is the change in the last problem and this problem here it was 1 and 0 okay here we have now the function okay. So let us start with this function. So given what is given to us given f of x is equal to what is that 1 minus x square for mod of x less than equal to 1 and it is 0 for mod of x greater than 1 simple so after writing down the given thing you can see this function f of x is an even function how one can say that this is even function because if you substitute x by minus x so what it should give 1 minus minus of x square okay which is 1 minus x square for mod of x less than equal to 1 and 0 for mod of x greater than equal to 1. So this is same as f of x. So if f of minus of x is same as f of x we say that the given function is the given function is even function okay. So we can write as as f of x is an even function is an even function then then what the Fourier transform is same as Fourier cosine transform then Fourier transform is same as is same as Fourier cosine Fourier cosine transform clear now we have the function f of x and we have to find out Fourier transform to be precise Fourier cosine transform because the function is even so let us start with Fourier tra cosine transform so let us start with those golden words in mathematics we know that the Fourier cosine transform Fourier cosine transform of f of x is what is it do you remember the notation and the definition that is Fourier cosine transform of f of x which we will denote it by Fourier cosine transform which is fc bar of s is nothing but under root 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity f of x into cosine of sx dx clear now we have f of x and the value of f of x is in, is in the range less than 1 and more than 1 greater than 1 so we'll break this interval we'll break this interval 2 by pi as integration 0 to 1 f of x into cos sx dx plus 1 to infinity f of x into cos sx dx clear any doubt up to this now you just have to substitute so what you gonna substitute here is under root 2 by pi integration 0 to 1 what is f of x 0 to 1 means this is the range 0 to 1 less than less than equal to 1 it says 1 minus x square into cos sx dx plus 
integration 1 to infinity for greater than 1, 1 onwards means greater than 1 we have the value function value to be 0 into cos s of x dx simple so the second integral will be 0 so we have to solve the first integral and that too we have to apply here integration by parts okay so So, Fourier cosine transform of the function is under root uh, 2 by pi integration 0 to 1, 1 minus x square into cos s of x dx. Now, you apply the integration by parts. So, if you apply integration by parts, the simple one, then you have to apply it twice. But the formula that I have already shared with you, if you remember that formula, you can write this integration in a single line. So, I am using that uh, single line formula to save uh, lots of time. So, this is uh, 2 by pi, okay. So, that formula says... Uh, first function 1 minus x square into integration of second what is integration of cos is sine sx divided by the coefficient of x that is s 0 to 1 minus derivative of this so what is derivative of this function is 0 minus x square derivative is 2x. Now, integration of this. So, what is its integration? Integration of sine is minus cos sx by s. Already s is there. Again, s and then limit 0 to 1. Simple plus d2y by dx square. So, 2 times derivative of this means 1 time derivative of this. That is minus 2 again integration of this integration of this 1 by s square already there so this is minus integration of cos is sine sine sx already s square is there so this is s into s into s limits 0 to 1 simple okay now <coughs> apply the upper limit minus lower limit so this is uh, f Fourier cosine transform is uh, under root 2 by pi now look here the moment you substitute here 1 so x is equal to 1 1 minus 1 that's 0 okay into anything 0 so upper limit will contribute to 0 minus minus lower limit lower limit is 0 so this is 1 minus 0 square is 1 and this is sine 0 sine 0 is 0 so upper limit minus lower limit will contribute to 0 now here you can see this minus into minus plus and this minus so this is minus okay now uh, I will write this uh, to uh, s square 2 by s square so what is upper limit cos 1 so this is cos s minus 0 into anything 0 okay 2 by s square i am taking as common and applying the upper limit so x is 1 x is 1 so 1 into cos s this is cos s minus now lower limit 0 into anything 0 so this is 0 simple now this minus into minus become plus so this is 2 by s cube into apply upper limit so this is sin s minus sin 0 is 0 okay so this completes the upper limit minus lower limit now this is like uh, under root 2 by pi now this is minus 
and this is plus okay so I can take positive term first and then this term so this is uh, 2 upon s cube sin s minus 2 upon s square into cos s okay now you do one thing here you can take the LCM as a s cube and 2 you can take common so my uh, this Fourier cosine transform is nothing but 2 common I am taking 2 into under root 2 by pi simple and what is remaining now s cube is common uh, s cube LCM I am taking so this is sin s minus s into cos s upon s cube so this is my Fourier cosine transform of the given function this okay now this completes my first part now what I need to show or find I need to find out this okay and to find out this I will make use of the Fourier cosine inverse transform so taking the inverse This is just the first part. Now we are. Uh, we will do the second part. Now second part. So what is the second part? The second part is about this. Okay, so make use of inverse Fourier cosine transform is given by is given by what is that f of x very good f of x is equal to yes under root uh, 2 by pi integration 0 to infinity okay Fourier cosine transform into cos sx dx okay now what you have to do is you just have to substitute the value of this over here Pain are not working okay so let me write now so this is uh, okay this is good under root 2 by pi integral 0 to infinity this value is under root 2 by pi 2 into under root 2 by pi then we have sin s minus s cos s upon s cube d s okay into cos s d sorry into cos s x d s simple so what i have done just pick this value and substitute over here you'll be getting this now this should be 2 into 2 by pi 2 by pi is 2 by pi under root under root get cancel this is integration 0 to infinity then uh, here it is uh, sin s minus s cos s upon s cube into cos s x d s okay now what is my f of x here you can just write down your f of x so the given f of x is what is it is 1 minus x square for mod of x less than equal to 1 and we have the value 0 for mod of x greater than 1 simple so this is what we have now okay what you can do is at the most if you have stuck somewhere that you cannot able to solve the problem so you just think like uh, what 
we can do at the most so at the most we can just uh, do 2 to the 4 4 pi and we multiply it over here so you will be getting it say 1 minus x square into 4 pi into pi by 4 for mod of x less than equal to 1 and it is 0 for mod of x greater than 1 is equal to is equal to integration 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s upon s cube into cos sx ds simple now what you can do over here is uh, we want uh, you can see we want uh, cos x by 2 right so what you can do is you can just put x is equal to 1 by 2 okay so I am now substituting x is equal to 1 by 2 so put x is equal to 1 by 2 we get okay now the moment I am saying x is equal to 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 comes under mod of x less than equal to 1 so I will be taking only this value okay so put x is equal to 1 by 2 so this should be uh, this 1 minus 1 by 2 square that is 1 by 4 into pi by 4 okay is equal to because x by 2 does not uh, depends on this so we can exclude this this is equal to integration 0 to infinity sin s minus s cos s upon s cube into what is it cos x is equal to 1 by 2 so this is cos s by 2 d s okay now you can make use of the property of definite integration change of variable property and you can just change this function this uh, integral in terms of s to in terms of x and you can write this one as 4 minus 1 3 by 4 and this is pi by 4 so this is 3 pi by 16 is equal to integration 0 to infinity now I am going to change this in terms of x sin x minus x cos x upon x cube into cos x by 2 dx by property of definite integration. So at last you can write this is equal to you can write this is equal to 3 pi by 16 okay so this is the answer of this uh, problem <clears throat> this is my required solution so I hope uh, you understand this problem and uh, now I have one problem for you try to find out the value of integration 0 to infinity sin x minus x cos x upon x cube dx okay so you have to manage this term so that would be uh, the thing that I wanted you to find out find find using this solution find out integration find out the value of integration 0 to infinity this dx is equal to what okay so I hope this is uh, uh, you can do this thing okay so thank you for watching and have a good day thank you